Backbone versus Razer Kishi 2. Which is the best iPhone controller for 2023? I'm about to find out. Both of them are pretty similar designs, similar packaging. Button layout is almost identical. One thing to note is with the Backbone, you will need to use an adapter if you have an iPhone Pro model. It does come in the box in the newer ones. Here's the weight of the backbone. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons. Here's the weight. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Kishi buttons. They both use mouse click style buttons. The key sheet takes a little bit less activation force, whereas the key sheet has mouse style D-pad and the backbone has a more SNES Nintendo D-pad. And the key sheet has the extra buttons on the shoulders. You can see here we have an iPhone 14 Pro model and with the adapter, it fits right in. While connected, the backbone also allows you to do ch pass through charging. And you can see here that the phone does sit off angle. So that may bother some. Uh, here's a look at the back. Here's another look at the adapter, making enough space for the camera. Kishi is a newer one. Uh, you can see it fits the Pro models directly. No adapters needed, nothing to lose. Kishi also supports pass-through charging. And you can see the phone here is perfectly flat. So no off angle. And the camera hump is not an issue. The backbone, I prefer the buttons. They take a little bit more activation force. The D-pad is similar to like an SNES. So rolling it is a little bit easier. And definitely the joysticks are a little bit taller. They're a little bit more precise. When it comes to the backbone the things I don't like is primarily just the off-axis viewing. I find that really distracting. You're not looking directly at the games and you feel like you want to tilt your hands to compensate. Uh, the backbone is also a little bit more comfortable. It holds the phone a little bit higher than the Kishi and has a little bit more meat on the handles. If you like a clicky d-pad definitely the Kishi is for you as well as if you like remappable buttons the Kishi has the extra two shoulder buttons that you can remap to any of the face. Otherwise, I'd say if you've ever handled a Nintendo Switch, you know what you're in for on the, on the joysticks. They're good, not great. As well as I do appreciate that the Kishi does hold the Pro model phones straight head on. Um, it doesn't have that issue with the adapter that the back phone does. Overall, I'd say both are a really good choice. You'd be happy with either. They both allow pass through charging over lightning. Now I will say that one knock between both the backbone and the Kishi is even though they're collapsible, they don't get really that small. And one device we are going to be looking at in a future video is the LG G Cloud. This is a fixed device with a built-in screen. That's something we're going to take a look at in a future video. Stay tuned to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.